DXB. It's in the game! Hello everybody, my name is Cameron and welcome to another BXB game review. Today I'm bringing you Kronos, this little RPG indie game brought to us by Ouroboro Studios. Now I have to admit, when I first started playing this game, I had a sense of, oh dear, one of these ones. I kind of rolled my eyes a little bit, but I gave it a lot more time and you know what, I was actually a little bit surprised, it's got some good aspects to it. The main story of the game is that you play as this character who is a descendant from a long line of alchemists who accidentally opened up a portal to another world and their house and castle got sucked through and you have to work your way out of it. And so in the classic RPG style you get armour and weapons and all kinds of spells to be able to adapt your character to different situations as you fight your way through hordes of demons and elemental creatures and the elements are an important aspect in this game because one will be stronger than the other, much like Pokemon where ice will beat lightning, fire will beat ice, etc etc as a big circle goes round. And as you slowly gain power, you face creatures of each of these elements and have to choose the right way to go about defeating them. And a different aspect of the game is that it's very much like a point and click adventure game at the same time. While yes you have to use your mouse to aim and to hack and slash at enemies in your way, you can also use your mouse to click on different items in the area that you'll need to use to complete puzzles and then you'd have to take them out of your inventory to use with the area in the map. And because you're the son of an alchemist you can use an alchemy station which you can use to combine different materials to make better arrows and like upgrade your weapons with uh, extra speed or armour for extra health and stamina throughout the game. What's also an interesting thing is you can actually recycle old armour and weapons you no longer use for spare parts again. All these things together add up to quite a nice little game, but then comes the downside. While the graphical style is relatively quaint and can work as a kid's My First RPG game, for those seasoned veterans of video games, the areas just become repetitive and the combat becomes boring after a while. And yes, you can choose your weapons and some armor you can use, but there's not much difference between it all. You don't really have a choice of class. You are stuck as this one paladin knight character who uses spells along with whichever weapon you tend to be using at the time. And as for the puzzles in the area, they stop becoming difficult and just become more of an annoyance that stops you progressing in the game. They're hardly difficult puzzles. It's just go here, do these a few times and Hey presto, no real riddles or anything for you to work out. And much like the areas, like I said, get repetitive, so do the enemies. And yeah, while there are a, quite a large selection of different types of enemies that are obviously imbued with a different type of elemental damage or resistance, again, they all just seem copy and pasted. There's no real difference. And when you level up, you do get some power points where you can then put into your character's aspects, uh, which would then increase their strength, their health, their dexterity, which would be for their ranged attacks, uh, and also go into your magic as well, increasing the power of spells. Uh, but in the end, it's not really difficult to increase all of them to their very top tier in no time. It doesn't affect your character's outcome. It doesn't become a big hulking tank, nor does he become a weeded little wizard. So yes, the game does work for a kid if he was playing an RPG game for the first time, and I give it four stars. But as it turns out, I'm a 26 year old cynical bastard, so I'm only going to give it two. Thanks for watching, this has been another BXB game review. If you'd like to read some more of our stuff, head on over to bxbgames.co.uk and you can follow us on Twitter at bxbgames. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.